Hi, my name's Liam McGrandles from Corfit UK in Birmingham. Uh, he's helping me out today. I've got Nathan Epps, also from Corfit UK, professional fighter. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on three ways to move from orthodox into southpaw whilst throwing your techniques. The first one I'm going to do is start in an orthodox stance. We'll throw um, just a basic combo, jab cross left kick, and then land into southpaw from there. Okay, let's do that first. One, two, switch, kick, then land behind. The bonus with doing this is that when you throw a left kick, landing behind you is more natural than landing in front. So in this way, it flows quite well and you can really easily get to this southpaw position. Now from there, okay, we're gonna use this angle change, okay? So in southpaw, there's a lot of different shots that are like available from different angles and you can make the most of that if you're comfortable in this position. So now from this position, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, take my right foot a little step to the side and then with my back foot, I'm gonna turn around here. Now this angle I've created, coupled with the angle that the orthodox fighter's body's positioned at, means now if I throw a left kick, it's gonna land right on the front of the stomach. The benefits of this is a lot of things. Landing the shin in front of the stomach, it hurts a lot more. It's a beast going to boxing, and it's also very hard to catch. Okay, so we do that once more. So it's one, two, switch, left, land behind, step, turn, left kick. Okay, then you can just reposition back to orthodox. Okay, now after that, I get a little bit faster. And shows it very effective. Now for sure from the other angle. So it's one, two, switch, kick. Make sure you come from this position. Step, turn off, and left round offs. And you just remember as well, even though you're at a different angle, just throw that, that second left kick just as you normally would. Because of the movement you've done, it will land just as normal anyway. Last time in this position. Okay, and now the second option that you can use from that um, moving in southpaw position is rather than using a kick, he's going to lead with a punch instead. Okay, so I'm going to start off by this, exactly the same again. Jab, cross, switch, lift, kick, land behind, and then straight under the right cross, and then into the leg, the inside leg kick. What could be effective about this is that if, um, if you're fighting or sparring someone, if you've already landed that technique on someone, and you jab, cross, left kick, you step off, land the body kick, that's in their head then, okay? So if you do a similar thing, they might expect the same like, outcome of you stepping off and throwing a kick, which is why it can be effective to, instead of doing that, throw a punch straight down the middle instead. Yeah, you can catch them off guard. So here, one, two, left kick behind, straight down the middle, then back down to the leg, okay? Because what you've done is you've changed it by going to the head with a punch, okay? And then also, they see your left kick coming in, they'll think it's coming to the body, like you've done before, but this time straight down into the leg. Okay, one more slow from that position. One, two, left kick, behind, cross, inside leg. Okay, now if I do that from this position, but a bit faster now. Okay, now if we change angle. Two, left kick, and hop, cross, inside leg. Okay, and you can also, from that southpaw, a lot of the time you can almost make it look as if the kick's coming and then throw your arm out, okay? That turn of the hip, again, they've seen a left kick come before, they, they most likely will think that's coming again, and then straight down the middle of the punch. Because a lot of the time when people go to block a kick, their guard might come a little bit loose, and that's where you can land a shot down the middle. One time again there. Kick, cross, inside leg. And now last time a little bit faster. And now the last option that you can use for uh, using this combination from moving into orthodox into southpaw is changing it up again. So this time, after for the jab cross left kick, I'm now behind, okay? And now so far they've seen a straight come in, a body kick come in, okay? So we're gonna use the hip here to fake that again. And then we're gonna draw straight up to the head with a front kick, okay? What you do is you wanna be very direct, accurate as you can, straight down the middle generate as much force as possible straight to the head. Okay, so again that's slow. One, two, left kick, land behind. They think a body kick, inside leg kick might be coming. Fake that there with my hip, and then draw it through with the front kick. Okay, once more slow. Okay, and now a little bit faster. 
straight through. And when you're doing that fake as well, you want to make sure you're not doing it too slow. If you're doing the fake slow, it's obvious that you're going to be doing a fake, okay? You want to make them flinch. You want to, you want to convince your opponent that a kick's going to be coming in. Yeah, you want that reaction where they're going to be lifting and they're going to be flinching. Their guard opens up, and that's where you're going to land that front kick down the middle. So if we change angles now, slow again from here. One, two, kick, fake, front kick. Okay, you want that flinch from them, and then you can drive it through. Okay. And now, last time a little bit faster. Yeah, then always landing back solid. Thank you for watching my tutorial on moving from orthodox to southpaw, landing different techniques and different angles. Any more information on myself or Nathan Epps, have a look on our show, social media pages, Liam McGrandles, or on Facebook, Liam McGrandles Muay Thai and Nathan Epps.